It was a weary day at Oklahoma's Cameron University. Chuck Hagel, United States Secretary of Defense-to-be, shocked his audience by stating a fact known in Pakistan for quite some time. India uh, has, uh, uh, over the years, financed problems for Pakistan on that side of the border. And you can carry that in, into uh, many dimensions. The revelation by Chuck Hagel didn't come as a surprise in Pakistan, for Pakistanis had been suffering at the hands of an enemy which came with a masked face. India's use of TTP fighters against Pakistan was an open secret. India's national security advisor, Ajit Dupan, was the first one to admit it. Funding are denied to the terrorists by countering it with the funds, more than one and a half times of the funds available to them. So if they have got a budget of 1200 crores, you can match it with 1800 crores. They are all on our side. Then there was the apprehended second in command of the TTP itself. He declared, in no minced words, who exactly was collaborating against Pakistan through his organization. <laughs> Commander Kobushan Jado was yet another living proof of how India kept playing the game of terror inside Pakistan. The various financing which subsequently happened for the TTP and uh, various other Afghan anti-Pakistani terrorist groups led to the attack by TTP on one of the Mehran naval bases in which a lot of damage was caused to the Pakistani Navy. Now, the links between the terrorist organization TTP and India's premier intelligence agency, RAW, have been made public by no less than the sitting U.S. Secretary of Defense, General James Matisse. The terror spread through this organization has spread flames so high that he has asked India to moderate its support for TTP. Severing relations with TTP will mean India surrendering an active card in Pakistan and a role in Afghanistan. This would also mean a period of relief for Pakistanis who have borne unbearable sufferings at the hands of this Indian proxy. This is the time to call a spade a spade. This is the time to end India's web of terror in South Asia.